Welcome everyone, today I'm going to be doing a, I don't want to call this really, it's just looking over a match really. I wouldn't ever ever do this again unless a scoreline like this happens. It is unbelievable what just happened last night. I'm recording this uh, at 12 o'clock the next day because it was just too late last night and I couldn't be bothered. So, we're going back over the Leicester Southampton match. Now, if you didn't know, Leicester won 9 0 against Southampton. Southampton, the Premier League side. Unbelievable. Leicester City are now up to second place on 20 points, and uh, Southampton dropping the relegation zone with 8 points on a minus 16 goal difference, with Leicester on a 17 goal difference. Now, Leicester before this game, coming into this game, had only scored 16 goals and conceded 8. After the game, they scored 25 and conceded 8. So, that's just numbers. Before the, ga it's before the game, Southampton had, only, had conceded quite a lot of goals. They had conceded 16 as well, as, as many as Leicester had scored. But putting 9 past a team like that is unbelievable. Early on in the game, um, Chilwell got a goal. It was a good goal. Uh, yeah, not much else to say on that really. But then there was a red card for Ryan Bertrand, which I think changed the whole aspect and the lookout on the game. I think the the head went down. I think they started to get a little bit nervous. Now, I'm not saying that excuse was 9-0, but, you know, it's still not good. Yuri, Yuri Tillman goes on to get another, you're thinking, well, it's going to be a good game for Leicester, yeah? maybe four or something. Then I also Perez gets his first, first of the season as well, assisted by Tillman's. Um, in the 19th minute. So in, within from 10, 10 minutes, Chilwell got a goal, 12, Bertrand got a red card, and then in the 17th and 19th, the two goals were scored. Then Iose went and got a, got his brace in, in 39 minutes. So it was 20 minutes of not, not, not really happening. Yeah, and then on the stroke of half-time, in the 45th minute, Jim Vardy got, got his first of the game. So we've got, so we're 5-0 up at half-time. You're thinking, right, if second down, they're going to be a bit more tired, not, not much is going to happen. Now, th things for three continue on. Kevin Dansell comes on for ya Yannick Vestergaard and Danny Ings comes off for Jack Stevens. So they've made two defensive changes, a defender off for a defender and a striker off for a defender. They change the formation, they, they sit in a little bit more. In the 57th minute, Iose Perez goes and gets a goal. That's his hat-trick. First three goals of the season. You think, I'm right, six, this is going to get better. Then, a minute later, in the 58th, James Vardy gets a goal. Just happened like that. Minute. Then, in the 70th minute, a substitution's made. Stuart Armstrong comes on for Jan Valerie. So, they want to try and just go a bit more attacking, not try and sit in as much. And then, Mark O'Brien comes on for Harvey Barnes and Damari Gray replaces Iose Perez after his hat-trick. Now, things proceed on. Jamie Vardy's got a brace. Iose Perez has came off and he's got a hat-trick. Tillemans has got one and Chilwell's got one. Then in the 85th minute, James Manson gets a goal. Right, 8 0, right? You think the right game's over? Jim Vardy in the 94th minute penalty makes it 9 0. The biggest away win ever. Ever in football. Not, not ever in football in the Premier League, but you know, still. 8 0 with Watford and City. Crazy. Um, but stuff like this, you can't. It doesn't really happen. But may I just add? By the way, I'm using one football to record this video. It's really helpful. Jimmy Vardy before this game had, uh, in nine games he'd scored six goals. He's on nine and ten now. That is the difference one game makes. He, two players scored a hat trick. Two players. Leicester City were close to Southampton last season. Well, maybe not close, but it wasn't. It wasn't like you were going to beat them nine 0 if you know what I mean. So I just, I don't. It just all went tits up for them, really, and it's unbelievable how far Leicester came this season. From and here's some stats for you. Let's go through the stats. I think this is worth it. So we had. 27.5% possession for Southampton. Leicester controlled the ball 72.5%. Jules won, doesn't really matter. One offside for Southampton, seven corners for Leicester. To two for, for two for Southampton. Then it goes on the goal, so we know it was 9 0. 
shots. Southampton had six, you know, not too bad. Leicester had 25. And on 25 and 9 goals isn't that well, it's brilliant actually for like, but still, it's crazy. But how many shots have let happen then? 15 shots on target, three for Southampton. Shot accuracy 60% for Leicester, 50% for Southampton. And then block shots five. Now, thing is, Leicester got 16 shots inside the box. 16. Southampton got three and three outside the box, and Leicester got nine outside the box. Now, you continue on. The distribution. Now, we know that they had more passes. I mean, more possessions, so that means more passes. But still, nearly 700 passes, only 270 for um, Southampton. Which I just think is embarrassing. Um, and fouls. Now, 12 conceded. For Leicester and three for thing, two yellow cards and one red card. Now I honestly do believe that that red card changed the whole outlook on the game for Southampton. Now I'm not mean it made it nine nil. I thought maybe that makes everything ten nine difficult, not difficult, but still nine nil is inexcusable. Now Ralph Hasselhoffel is came out and said some stuff. He's not. He, what he needs to do though is he he needs to take. He can't take all of it, put all of it on the players. He can't put it all on himself. But he needs to try and just take responsibility, make the players feel safe and feel, make them feel like the manager still backs them. Now, if he can do that, then they're going to be fine. I think Southampton will stay safe. But this won't happen again any time this season. We've had an 8-0 and a 9-0. That, that is a lot, a lot and a lot of goals. Excuse me. In... In just two games. One for City, one for Leicester. Leicester are up to second. Now, City do have a game in hand, but still, that's brilliant for Leicester. Thank you for listening, everyone. I just thought I'd go through that game and explain every little bit about it. Uh, thanks for sitting through it. I know it might have been a boring one, but I felt like that was worth talking about. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit. Make sure you like and subscribe in a bit.